Our journey begins in the Mariana Islands, located in the northern Pacific Ocean. This is where the rich coral reefs and underwater structures create an ideal environment for the development of giant grouper. To catch these fish, fishermen must prepare very carefully. First, fishermen need a special fishing rod designed to handle large and powerful fish like the giant grouper. This rod is made from high quality materials such as aluminum and stainless steel, ensuring durability and the ability to withstand the heavy tension from the fish. Additionally, the equipment is completely waterproof, helping maintain optimal performance in the salty marine environment. Bait is a crucial factor in catching giant grouper. To attract the grouper, a cunning fish that hides at the ocean's bottom, fishermen must choose the bait very carefully. Bait that is too small won't attract attention, while bait that is too large might not be enticing enough. Fishermen can use live bait, such as small barracudas, small stingrays, or other small marine fish. The scent and natural movement of the live fish are the key factors that attract the giant grouper. In addition to live bait, fishermen can also use artificial baits such as jigging lures, swim baits, or imitation baits that mimic small fish to attract giant groupers. These types of baits are specifically designed to create movement underwater, which helps increase their ability to attract fish. Once the bait is dropped into the sea, the waiting begins. When the bait settles at the bottom, the fishermen patiently wait for the giant grouper to have enough time to approach and eat the bait. Suddenly, a powerful movement from below causes the fishing line to start vibrating. This is the sign of a tough struggle between the fishermen and the fish. The fishermen must be very careful in handling the rod as the giant grouper will try to escape, creating strong tension on the fishing line. Finally, after a tense struggle, The giant grouper slowly rises from the ocean's depths. It is a victorious moment for the fishermen as they witness the power and size of this incredible fish. In addition to fishing with a rod, there is an even more dangerous method called spear fishing. Spear fishing is a technique that requires high precision where fishermen use specialized equipment, such as a spear or a spear gun, to shoot or stab the fish directly underwater. Spear fishing requires fishermen to have excellent diving skills. Without proper training, divers can be in danger when diving deep or staying underwater for too long. During the dive, participants may also encounter dangerous marine creatures like sharks. Additionally, seals and sea lions can become a threat if they feel disturbed. When diving underwater, fishermen must approach cautiously to avoid startling the grouper. A small mistake during the approach can cause the fish to panic and flee. Once the fisherman is close enough to the grouper, they must choose the right spot to aim, typically the head or abdomen of the fish. This process requires speed and absolute precision. Any error could result in failure during the hunt. Spearfishing for grouper is a real challenge. Participants need to have good diving skills, intense focus, and an understanding of the behavior of giant groupers to succeed. However, it is essential to follow environmental protection regulations and local laws to ensure that the hunting is sustainable and does not harm marine resources. In addition to fishing, did you know that most of the seafood available on the market today comes from farming rather than wild capture? Shrimp, fish, 
crabs, and other seafood are primarily farmed in marine farms. This method helps protect the ecosystem and provides a sustainable food source for humans. Today we will learn about grouper farms where these fish are raised. Grouper farms today come in various models. Some use floating or submerged cages, while other models use large tanks where fish can move freely in a spacious environment. However, the prevailing trend nowadays is to set up outdoor farms in the sea, which helps create a more natural living environment for the fish. Researchers are also developing land-based marine fish farms that use closed-loop systems and automated seawater circulation. These large tanks are equipped with oxygen supply systems to maintain optimal oxygen levels, protect the fish's health, and precisely control the temperature, creating the best conditions for fish development. In the future, grouper farms may primarily use fish meal to feed the fish. These fish will be sterilized and soaked in clean water before being fed to the grouper, helping to prevent the spread of diseases. Farms also use frozen fish meal, which is then crushed and pressed into pellet form, similar to dry fish feed. The grouper is typically fed twice a day, in the morning and afternoon. The feed is scattered gradually to help the fish eat more easily. The amount of food will be adjusted based on the fish's weight. With smaller fish eating 10% of their body weight and larger fish eating around 3 to 5%. In the case of weather changes or disease outbreaks, the food amount can be adjusted accordingly to protect the health of the fish. The grouper harvesting process takes place after about nine to 10 months of farming. The net is gradually lifted, helping to guide the fish into the collection area. To avoid injuring the fish, fishermen use soft nets to gently pull the fish into the harvesting tanks. After harvesting, the fish are transferred to holding tanks and then transported to the processing factory. The grouper is transported in ice boxes to maintain its freshness. Afterward, at processing factories, Workers carefully remove the bones and skin, leaving only the delicious, tender meat. The fish meat is cleaned in jacuzzi tanks before being packaged and stored. Frozen seafood products are highly popular due to their convenience and long shelf life. Fresh grouper is also transported directly to restaurants to serve customers who enjoy its fresh, delicious flavor. Grouper meat is rich in nutrients, containing essential vitamins and amino acids like omega-3 and omega-6, which help develop the nervous system and improve cognitive function. It is an ideal choice for all ages, from the elderly to children. Grouper is not only a valuable food source, but also a versatile dish that can be prepared in many different ways. Not only is it economically valuable, but grouper also holds symbolic meaning, especially during the Lunar New Year, when it represents luck and prosperity.
With grouper dishes, you not only enjoy amazing flavors, but also receive respect and blessings in various cultures. We invite you to explore the fascinating world of grouper and the values hidden behind each meal.